All right, guys, today we are riding high because I have with me the new Ford Ranger double cap pickup truck. One of the most loved uh, pickup truck in the world, I should say. It's a really good one, at least in United States. It's super sold and it's a trend today. This car, it's really good. And with those improvement that they bring on this Ranger, I'm super, super impressed. In this video, I will make the full review. I will explain you everything about the car, interior, exterior, material quality, space. We will talk about the new multimedia system. We will talk about this new transmission with 10 speed. This is the E all wheel drive. It's really interesting. And I will explain you everything in this video. But before we go forward, if you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, you can check out Emil Frey in Zugville. I will leave the link in the description. If you want to see the car, test drive the car, buy the car, check them out they are really really cool and they will help you and also if i'm not wrong they have already a discount on this ranger so you can see right here they have already 6820 francs discount so this is a good deal for a brand new truck so let's start the review guys by the way i will have also a test drive video if you want to see the test drive with the same car i will have a separate video on my channel so if it's not already there click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out now let me give you some information technical data and then we will start the review exterior interior so first of all as i said i have with me the new ford ranger it's 2023 2024 europe version and it comes in double cap it's a pickup truck and four wheel drive and this version is the wild track so that's something to keep in mind and i have with me the top end version i mean it's full option here you will get the maximum what you can get on this car you will see right here on mine those are the options you can see it comes with so many options guys it's crazy i have like two pages of options and i try to go in every single them uh, as i go in this video but first of all the starting price at least here in switzerland in other country the price might be different it's 62,625 francs is the starting price and from here you start to add some options for example those options until 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 down here i guess yes they are 4895 and here included like the navigation 12 inch touch screen this is the new sync 4a it's gorgeous navigation i will show you in a second we have like bang and olufsen sound system incredible sound system at least i didn't expect to have such a good sound system on a pickup truck i mean it's gorgeous then we have also the bluetooth the connectivity you can also connect your apple carplay apple iphone or android phone without any problem wireless to the car then you have also the technology pack that i totally recommend you to get it where you find all that adaptive cruise control emergency brake blind spot technology 360 degrees camera you have it also i think it's optional 200 francs because we have cameras around the car i will show you later also how it works uh, we have the care kit metallic color then what it comes with here on the other page like parking assist a lot of stuff i try to explain you everything also on the pack outdoor one you have motor and tank protection i mean in this pack you can get an extra protection when you go off-road and this is also very interesting i find it when i uh, search it a little bit here i didn't go in every single them but i will explain you in the video as we go so we have also led lights so keyless entrance and all that stuff by the way the price with all this option usually should be around 67,520 francs but with this discount that you find it here at emil frey in Sukville, the final price will be 60,700 francs i will add the price in dollar and also in euro but keep in mind depending which country you are the price might be different now i want to go a little bit deeper in details and give you even more details about the car technical data so this ranger that it's with me right here it's a double cap pickup that comes with a two liter diesel engine it's an e4 wheel drive it comes with a 10 speed automatic transmission the power of the car 205 horsepower 500 newton meters 
it's a four cylinder in line engine also the consumption vltp estimated 8.8 .8 liters it comes also with a particle filter of course on the diesel cars in europe it's a must have the length of the car 5 meter 37 centimeters the height of the car 1 meter 88.4 centimeters also the weight of the car it's 2436 kilograms it comes in five seats i will show you later also it comes with ventilated brake this on the front ventilated brake this on the rear 18 inch rims standard and the suspension on the front will have coil spring and on the rear we have leaf springs so i guess those are the most important technical data and information now let's go outside and review the car and in the end we will make the conclusion as always so yeah let's do it guys all right guys here we are outside first of all we start as always with the key this is the same key as ford use it also on other models it's a very simple key it's a very light key what you can do with the key is just lock the car Car. you can see right here I'm locking you can unlock the car of course also the car come with a keyless entry system so you don't have to always press the button you can come here and you can see you lock the car by having your finger here and you unlock the car by putting your hands right here because it has a sensor right there another thing that you can do here this button is for the trunk I didn't try it before but usually if you press it two times it should open up the uh, pickup part and the trunk part i should say and you can uh, see that you have also an automatic uh, opening there also you have a button inside the car i will show you a little bit later but keep in mind this is very very useful in general this is what you can do with the key now i want to turn on the lights and we will talk about the exterior design in comparison with the previous version that i saw it a little bit earlier i think it's there in the back I think it's a big improvement in terms of design. Very attractive, very nice, very nice lines, much more modern. It's like a big, big step forward from my point of view in terms of design, in terms of how it looks, this truck on the road, it's, it's lovely. I like the design. It's not extraordinary, it's not perfect, but it's much better than what was before even the front part is not anymore that slick front it's a little bit more uh, mature a little bit more aggressive and it looks much more powerful and also i like the lines i like the the design of the car i like also the way they fit the rims there the lights and the cap the double cap there how spacious it is and how they design it I, in general, it's a beautiful, attractive pickup truck, I should say. It's, it's really nice. And also, I like the way they design the lights in the back here with this uh, area in kind of three-dimensional way. It's, it's a really nice car. If we look from uh, outside to the design, I think it's a very, very attractive design and it looks quite, quite nice. Anyway, I want to go a little bit closer in detail to explain you different items and elements. So, for example, up here on the roof we have some roof rails we have the radio antenna right there we have here uh, also these roof rails that are very very useful then we have also on the upper side this kind of protection here that looks really nice kind of a spoiler i don't know how to call it but it looks quite nice and it fits really nice with the design of the car and it's kind of extend here on the upper side uh, the cap and it looks gorgeous then you have some roof rails also here on the down part and then we have here in the back uh, this protection for the trunk that you can close it from rain and from whatever stuff you have there uh, to protect them we have the led light on the brakes from here you can open the trunk but we will go a little bit later there we have the wild track so you know which version it is four wheel drive and then we have ranger writing on the paint of the car so it looks super nice here we have tinted windows i like that uh, also in the back here are tinted windows on this version around the windows we have kind of a plastic here black matte plastic also between the windows the same story and then we go to those huge mirrors that allow you to have phenomenal visibility and the car come with also with a lot of technology like blind spot technology you can see right here in the corner of the mirror led lights turning signals we have the camera for 360 degrees camera and let's don't forget that here we have some led lights 
in the mirror and the car have some LED lights in the front on the rear around the car have some LED lights if you stop the engine if you stop everything I will probably show you another video in the night time you can turn on the lights around the car and you will see that the car will be somehow light up uh, around it it's, it's a really cool feature at least for those off-roader cars then this is with the mirror up here it comes also with a few new technologies and there you have some camera and sensors the camera can read the traffic speed limit it's for lane assist and all that safety features that work with a radar that is down there on the bumper other than that very nice uh, lines also on the hood quite aggressive and powerful lines make it looks quite quite powerful the car then going forward I'm not, I'm not going to go too low. I will stay around here. We have this element that looks really beautiful. B Turbo tell you what kind of version of um, engine of powertrain have this car. Then you have those handles that feel quite good. And also the doors sound typical like a, like a Ford. I mean, nothing crazy, nothing special, but the quality, I should say, it's, it's really good. Then you have again wild track here on the both sides. You have this step that allow you to go up here on the roof. So you can go like that very easy. Uh, then we have in this area, this protection around the wheels. And this is very, very useful for all the cars these days. And also you have an extra protection here to not throw stones in the back. This is super, super useful. And the same story you have here in the back. So you can see the same story, the same protection here super useful these days i like that very much let me show you the front end from the distance and let me show you the lights i turn on all the lights the high beam the low beam the turning signals and also the fog lamps so you can see them from here very well we have led everything uh, it's led in terms of high beam low beam this is the low beam this is the high beam down here this is the tail light running light and the turning signals is the only halogen light that we have here even the fog lamps down here are LED lights and this is really cool and I like this design the new design of them it's really nice and I saw on a few Ranger in other countries on a few reviews that the car come also with kind of a matrix LED light I'm not sure if they have I forget to ask if they bring it also here but uh, the car uh, look quite quite cool but anyway those are super useful as well anyway here we have parking sensor six parking sensors on the front this is super useful and the design here on the front it's also quite nice the way the grill begin here in this area then we have the Ford logo the front camera for 360 degrees camera we have some glossy plastic on the grill huge air intakes and then you have the radiator there that allow the air to come in and then cool down the engine a little bit now here we have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features and then again some air intakes and then we have some hooks here where you can pull the car um, very cool cool looking front right i like it this is the tank i think 81 liters if i remember well the diesel tank and the add blue it's here very simple to open and i like the fact that you have this easy fuel uh, this new technology then going in the back we have the lights I like the design of the lights I think if they were like 100% LED light they will look fabulous but they still look quite nice we have LED lights the tail lights the turning signals the halogen light the reverse light halogen light and the fog lamp it's halogen light and you can see also on the other side the same story so yeah nice design but yeah I wish it was more like more LEDs I want to see more led these days i don't want to see those halogen lights anymore on any car then six parking sensors on the rear as well not only parking sensors those are working also for the blind spot technology you have there the led light i don't know if you can see it but there's the led light for the number plate they hide it somewhere in, inside there and then it will illuminate here and also those here are kind of steps to go inside the car also here the same story they are step to go up there I, I, let me show you you have a button here also you press this button and then you will open up the truck and then if you want to go inside there you just put your leg here you can go inside here without any problem in the truck so you can take different items now here in the back 
you can open that very simple just like that and here you can fit in so big items so many items i mean it's it's so big it's so practical it's so easy to use this is what i like if you want to go inside you go here on the side and then you just go in just like that super super simple and you can sit here you have some hooks here in the corner and yeah hooks here hooks here in the back quite nice really 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 nice now let me go down jumping down close this up yeah i will have to clean it after all i want to leave it new but it's fine it's cool it's cool it's simple i like that everything it's kept simple you press the button you can see how fast it's working this automatic i don't know roof cover i should say now I want to show you the engine bay and we talk a little bit about tires and engine bay. Let me close those lights because you already see them. And then we will go inside for the multimedia and all that stuff. The lights are here. Let me, actually, let me, ah, see, it doesn't matter. Uh, I will open up from here the trunk, the front. And before we go in the front and, uh, on the engine part, I want to talk a little bit about the rims. I tell you before, it comes with 18 inch rims and it comes with ventilated brake discs quite simple i mean for the size of the car they are more than enough they look also nice on the car and ventilated brake discs on the front so nothing special there but i think it fit nice the size of the rims with the car they are the perfect combination for the comfort and economy now open up this hood i hope it's automatic because i never opened it before yeah it's not oh my god i have to make some fitness okay this is a big hood here <laughs> i don't know how can i go up there uh, but it's a big hood it's a really big hood and yeah it's simple but i can do it with one hand now this is the engine guys two liter diesel engine four cylinders in line 205 horsepower connected with an 10 speed automatic transmission with the e all wheel drive here is the battery the 12 volt battery there are the fuse box some liquid cooling then we have the air filter here the liquid for the wipers and then some uh liquid cooling there are a lot of space for the engine here so the engine has a lot a lot of space between the components here and this is a good thing i guess it doesn't get warm too fast so yeah this is it Ooh, this is heavy okay finally i'm done now we will go inside guys on the back here i like the fact that this double cap i mean the the entrance the part where you go inside it's really big like a proper suv like a really big car and the entrance is huge i like that too i like the fact that you have a big window here and i'm not sure if the contact is on i want to show you if you can fold down the window completely let me put the contact right like that let me show you the windows can be folded electrically all the way down oh that's good i like that this is a good thing now i want to stop it i don't want to kill the battery close the door and here on the upper side we have some plastic but a very nice trim plastic so if you see it has a nice trim this here this area it's in leather leather also here you can see the stitches the brown stitches here you have the button for the windows some chrome design some handle and down here some uh, storage area and the storage space it's relatively good and then you have this speaker bang and all sense speaker great great sound system and i leave to the end my favorite part on the door the handles look at this this is the handle so in this way you unlock the door it's so cool i will show you later it's it's really really cool it feels so special and unique and i like that the entrance as i said it's big you have this step here you have also a handle to go in and you have a big entrance so i mean poof, it's huge then go inside here you can see big windows good visibility inside here and we have this fabulous leather seats that comes on this uh, version of the car and they are really good i mean in terms of quality guys it feels really stable you can see the stitches is all fixed for child you can install two child seats they they are really really big and nice here you have also a flat floor in the middle so even the third person can sit there and yeah anyway they look nice look at them i will slow down a little bit so you can see better in the middle here you have also an armrest 
leather two cup holders very useful you cannot fold those things down but you have a big big uh, window there in the back so you can see in the back uh, what's happening there behind the front seats i like very much the fact that they leave this leather it's leather everywhere some storage space here and everything down here it's quite nice i mean it's quite spacious here we have a transmission tunnel it's like 10 centimeters maybe a little bit more and then we have usb-c usb-2 and we have these 400 volt outlets super useful to charge different items like laptops or yeah whatever you have and then you have those vents i like so much the vents are so special the design is so unique and it looks a little bit like the grill like the front grill of the car and the quality it's also good so guys I, i'm super impressed with the, this pickup truck uh with this ranger the new ranger is really good the quality is good once i'm going here in the back i have to say i'm 173 centimeters by the way and i have like five fingers over my head uh, this is my driving position, almost my driving position. I can go even a little bit forward without any problem. And you can see this is the space here. I mean, it's relatively good space. I can stretch a little bit the legs under the front seats, but not so much. But the space here, it's, it's quite good. So nothing to complain. Visibility around the window, it's perfect. Also in the back, I like it. It's not bad. Also here you have leather. Yeah, it's good it's super comfy and also visibility outside it's super super nice the roof quality although from one to ten i will give it a six something like that it's not bad but yeah it's not the best up here you have a light let me show you ah why is not working i have to put the contact yeah right now it's working so ah yeah look at this it's a white light and i like it i'm not sure if it's an led probably it's an led because it's a white nice light i can't I can uh, see it well. Once you go in the middle, by the way, you go very easy in the middle and you can still see how much space, more than enough space on my knees. You cannot stay or you can stay with your legs together somehow, but it's not super comfy. On my head, I have the same space as on the side. And surprisingly, down here in the middle, it's super comfy. It's soft and nice. Here on the back, because of this armrest, maybe a little bit stiffer, but surprisingly, better than i was expected and you can see i stretch my hand left stretch my hand right so i think you can have free person here without any problem in the back here super useful so yeah great job now we will go in the front there are a lot of cool stuff that i want to show you uh, the dashboard design it's fabulous the new multimedia system it's really good i i love this multimedia system and i'm i'm surprised to see that they bring it on a pickup truck it's crazy and yeah the, the cockpit is also great and the design in general of the dashboard it's it's splendid i mean it's more than perfect for a pickup truck it's everything you need anyway let's go in the front all right now let's go in the front the front part the same story big entrance there really really huge entrance here we have the same gorgeous leather uh, a little bit better quality as on the rear so for example in the rear was plastic here this time we have leather with stitches we have also this gray nice insertion with chrome and we have ambient light in the door i don't know if you can see it i have to put a contact on in the night time you can see much better but here it's an led light yeah i'm not sure it's still not on come on man maybe now yes you can see a green nice light anyway it's an ambient light there but yeah in the night time you can see it better here is the lock and unlock button for the doors leather down here leather here again with the stitches the same super cool handle to uh, open the doors from the interior when you have the buttons for the windows button for the mirrors you can fold the mirrors you can adjust the mirrors electrically from here so you can fold them in just like that by pressing a button it's, it's very very simple and yeah really cool now then this button for lock the windows and doors the child lock it's here then you have some storage space in the door bands can be a little bit bigger for a pickup truck but it's okay then you have a huge speaker right here the entrance is flat everything is flat so you go inside the car very easy and we have normal pedals so no aluminum nothing special there on the pedals but we have electric adjustable seats so you can adjust your seats electrically from here and this is a great part so even the lumbar part the side support 
you can adjust it from here. Not the side, side support, just the lumbar part. You can see right there in the middle, they will extend from here. But you have side support down here. You have the wild track writing on those seats, lovely seats. Let me show you from the, the back a little bit, just like that. They look super nice and also the quality of the seats are very, very good. It's a combination between leather and those brown stitches. Lovely. I don't know, I like it. You have also some kind of a different design here. I'm not sure if it's still leather or other material. Probably it's a little bit different, but in general, very, very good quality. Here you have the controllers for the lights and the fog lamps and the brightness of the screen and the lights position and then open the trunk button. A little bit higher here you have those vents that are the same as in the back really nice they feel really good and they are super special as i said they look a little bit like the front grille here you have plastic in this area but here you have soft material and leather i think and then let me go inside go inside you can hold this handle you go inside so easy lock the door close it and you want to open it you can open it like that you can see how cool it is you open this super cool visibility from the interior it's perfect nothing to complain huge huge mirrors huge windows look how big is the mirrors huge windows also gorgeous visibility in this mirror up here you can see from here perfect visibility and then around the car really good view nothing to complain i mean it's one of the best view as i see ever in a car you can see one more time the back seat here you have an armrest also leather very good quality you can open this up and you have huge space there to put different items you have a 12 volt port there you have a space where you can put a key for example and then all this center console it's made in plastic but it looks very good and everything is positioned in the perfect position so while you're driving it's very easy to reach out everything here so i like that i like that they keep it simple you know they didn't try to over complicate things and i like the fact that we have a lot of physical buttons here here climatic system is physical physical button on the steering wheel this is awesome i like that it's simple and it's do the job perfectly they integrate the new technology with the physical button perfectly and i will show you that in the multimedia a little bit later then we have here on the a pillar bang and all sense speakers on the boat uh, side so you can see them also there another speaker up here you can adjust the steering wheel up down forward backward just manually but it works super smooth and very good quality the quality of the uh, steering wheel it's very good we have leather with these brown stitches and the the grip it's gorgeous everywhere i mean it's it's super super nice grip i really like it it doesn't uh, slip um, it's it's a really really good grip then we have physical button for different items like the volume voice command and also all that adaptive cruise control and autopilot i should say on the right side we have controller to change the tracks and to close the telephone and also we have the controller for the uh, digital cockpit we have this new digital cockpit that it's crazy i didn't expect to find it on a pickup truck so fast but it's gorgeous that they bring it here and you have so many information there on the on the screen let, let me start the car actually start the car right now and you can see right there on the right side a lot of information like off-road status it shows you power distribution on the wheels it shows you the consumption it shows you the economy fuel economy and it shows you the compass and on the compass i think if you add here on the map i'm not sure if you add on the navigation let me add a destination and if you press go let me see if it when works possible, yes it turn. shows you not the map but it shows you directions to where to go but it's really interesting and i like it and you can see the car can read also the traffic speed limits because it has a camera up there so really really great job uh really great technologies also another great technology that i want to point out i don't want to forget it's that the windshield the windshield this is the windshield it's heated so in the winter you press a button in the multimedia and it's defrosting in one minute and you can see between the the window there there are little lines little small lines those lines will heat up the glass really fast and in the winter you will have a gorgeous gorgeous glass uh, also i want to show you the wipers the wipers work perfectly look at the wipers 
they are super nice. I mean, it clean up the the uh, the windshield really fast and really good and really smooth. Good. Now let's go forward up here. As I said, here it's soft material everywhere, and you also can open this upper. Uh, part and you have some storage space there. This is also cool down here You have another storage space with some rubber. I like that that it's rubber inside and down here You have a glow box with a lot of storage and a lot of stuff that you can put there Here we have this gorgeous 12 inch Multimedia system screen. It's it's gorgeous man I mean, it's I don't expect to find something like that in a pickup truck and you have those vans that they feel much better than much more I should say uh, conventional premium cars and I have to say I'm super impressed also on the price of the car I ex I was expect to be around 80,000 or something like that it's, it's a good price for what this car offer here we have the start engine button then on the down part we have some buttons here some complicated buttons if you press for example this button you will go to the off-road mode what mean that let me show you if you go to the screen you press this button right now this is the off-road mode that mean you can see what happened with the wheels you can see the front camera when you go off-road and what it's under somehow under or what comes next to the to the car and here you can go downhill you can heal descent and control you can activate deactivate and from here you can lock the wheel the rear wheels you can see by pressing this button you can lock it very simple like that and from here you can also see a different view for example you can see in which position the car is positioned you know like minus two here plus two on the right side because we are kind of on the hill on the uh, we stay like that a little bit right now with the car and then the parking sensors of course and yeah this was uh, like before let me show you and let's go back and from here if you want to see other camera you can go here and you can choose to see 360 degrees what it's around the car or you can choose to see the front in a wide way the rear in the wide way not the wide but the rear or you can see also the hook if you have something like a trailer you can go here and you can see what it's behind there so very very cool useful stuff so you press this button you go in this off-road mode if you press this button you go to the parking uh, control it get you directly to this menu navigate to parking parking assistant and from here you can you can also choose different uh, different settings on the parking and then you have uh, this button that mean traction control off and on and here it's like the auto start stop system on and off a little bit forward it's electronic handbrake in a truck Ooh, nice very comfortable uh, very uh, easy to use and i like that then we have two cup holders and here we have the magic stick for changing the different gears you have a button up here and you just press it you go very easy it's it's so smooth it slides so smooth in different driving modes this is the reverse mode you can see also on the screen uh, the 360 degrees camera it shows you what it's around the car very very clear and then you go in park just like that if you want to drive in manual mode you can do that you can see on the same magic stick you press this m and then you press plus and minus and you can have some fun with the car in a manual somehow in manual mode good going forward now i leave this to the end of the center console because it's a little bit complicated to explain you but i will still try to explain you so for example this is the magic wheel if that's magic stick this is the magic wheel from here you change different driving modes and if you rotate it just like that you will change different driving modes like different normal driving modes that you find on other ford cars so let me show you if you go in the front here and i rotate it you can see all the driving modes so the car come with normal mode you have the echo mode you have uh tow and hole then you have slippery you have mud and rut sand and those are all driving modes that you can simply change it from here and the car will react for you uh, automatically so it will do for you the job then you probably wonder okay but what are all those 2h 4h 4l and 4a i will explain you in uh, right now the 4a mean that the car 
will choose for you automatically how to engage the four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, uh, depending on the condition, the car will do the job for you. That's why they call it E all-wheel drive. If you go to 2H, uh, 2H mean uh, two-wheel drive high. Uh, that means it will work only the rear wheel drive. That means when you drive on the normal roads, like normal streets, if you go to 4H, it's like four-wheel drive high. That means it works all together to give you like when you are on the mud or when you are on the rocks, this is very useful. The 4L mean like where you actually, when you are on the sand, the 4L work the best, but you have to stop the, the car completely and then you, you can put it in uh, 4L. The 4L mean four-wheel drive low and it gives you kind of a low speed, uh, more torque, you know, so you can get out of the sand or something like that, if that makes sense. And four wheel, four A, four automatic, four wheel drive automatic mean that the car will do the job for you. So most of the time for many people, this will be the best way to go. So I hope you understand uh, how it works. Here you have a storage space where you can put your key. You have a USB-C, USB 2, a place for your phone and it's not a wireless charging place. It's just a place for your phone where you can put it very useful and now let's go to the cockpit now to the cockpit here it's very simple you can control it from the steering wheel it's nothing complicated you cannot choose too many things to see right there but you can go into menu and you can choose my view and you can choose here what you like to see on your view for example power distribution and then you can choose uh, the consumption here, you can choose also fuel economy, navigation, you have off-road status, power distribution to the wheels and kind of this is all. You can go of course also in some other uh, settings like if you want to change different settings, screen content and classic view. If you want to see the classic view, you can choose from here which kind of views you want to have it. The screen content as of course you can also choose from here how you like to have the screen and you have a vehicle maintenance where you have the oil, the add blue and all that tire pressure information about the car. But other than that, it's quite simple. So nothing complicated there, but it's great that it's a digital screen. You have a great view from the driver point of view. This is, this is really important. Now uh, up here, gorgeous mirror, very good visibility in the back. You have also glasses support here you can put your glass and then you have also those lights right here uh, kind of LED lights they are white light I think it's LED it looks like LED you have microphones here microphone here and then you have a mirror right here without any light but a big mirror vanity mirror so going forward huge screen here this screen is split in two and I like the fact on the screen I like the fact that Ford still keep the practicality of the climatic system we don't only have the controllers in physical button that it's fabulous from here you change the temperature look at this you change the temperature like that because it's much more easy to have physical button you change the temperature from here from here you change the vent speed yes and then here you change the volume you have the button for the hazard light you have also for the passenger and how cool is that i like the fact that they keep this here but of course they have it also like a modern way we have all the climatic system here on the screen we have uh heating here on the seats and the steering wheel so the car come also with heated steering wheel and heated seats and heated the windshield and so many so many cool features um, i like that very much so you can go here into the menu this is the menu of the climatic system and this is the button to hitting the windshield you can hit the windshield you can hit the steering wheel and um, from here you can choose the direction where you want the air to go dual zone and stuff like that it's super complex and, and a cool cool feature really good design and really smart design I should say but this will stay always here in this area you can customize and add wherever uh, wherever widgets you want so you can add and delete the widgets from here from this area and a little bit higher we have the navigation 
and of course if you press this button you can extend a little bit the screen let me show you go here you extend the navigation to show you a little bit bigger but it's enough big i mean it's a huge screen you have perfect visibility here i wish although the screen to be a little bit tilted to the driver and then was perfect but uh, yeah i can't complain here the navigation is the latest is navigation that ford use also on the other cars and it's super good i really like it super responsive it works fast it's clear uh, the view here it's super super clear you can see every single function there in in a clear way and i like that very much so super super cool feature and also you can also deactivate it cancel the route very simple like that but it works fast and also when you choose a destination for example if i want to go here you just see how fast it's loading in when no possible, time make a U -turn. it's working super super fast i like it now going forward if you go here in the middle you have some uh, shortcut i should say where you can go in different um, settings you have owner manual this time no more on the paper we have it right here on the car so you can read it from here wherever you are this is a great great thing because you can save space and save the trees and the planet anyway apple carplay android auto wireless this is awesome you have the phone navigation media and radio now if you go to the settings of the car you just have to press this car here up and it goes you to the settings we have two types of settings control and settings and if you go to the control here we have auto hold function you can activate it from here this is awesome we don't have a physical button for auto hold you have to activate it from the multimedia system that's something to keep in mind additional settings if you go to additional settings you will find all that sound settings from here you change different sound settings you have the radio settings you have the phone list the driver assistant systems those are very important from here you activate deactivate different super useful features like auto hold adaptive cruise control speed limit lane keeping assist blind spot technology wrong way alert uh, cross traffic alert there are so many cool features to activate and the car come with then we have the vehicle those are also very important because here you find all the vehicle important settings now let me put the climatic system on first here we have the vehicle power turn timer we have the rear occupant alert key detection alert my key we have alarm settings remove uh, start setup and then windows wipers lights lock mirrors all those settings you will find it here we have the general settings like language temperature units weight units um, measure units we have tire and all that stuff so from this point of view uh, everything is so clear and easy to understand and um, it's so easy and also the, the the multimedia system work really really fine i mean it's very responsive Every time you choose, you press um, a button or you go in certain setting, certain setting, uh, it will go really fast. So nothing to complain. Here are the towing and ambient light. The car comes also with ambient light. I show you in the doors, and I think it has also here. Or I'm not sure. I didn't check for ambient light, but not in many places, but it has a few places where you have some ambient light. Good. Now, uh, those are all the settings of the car. If you will go back to the controls, here you find the camera, 360 degrees camera. From here you can see so many, um, so many ways. You can see in front, you can see front wide, you can see reverse, and you can see also the hook, and this is cool. I mean, it's, it's a really good system, this 360 degrees. For 200 francs, totally deserve to get it. Then you have the driver assistance systems that you see it before. You have the towing here settings. On the towing settings, you can go forward in the settings and you find more settings there, but I didn't see anything. Uh, zone lighting. This is the cool stuff that I tell you guys. So you can illuminate the car around, but you just press the power and you press all zones. And you will see it has in the front light, on the side light, inside the truck light, inside the, the trunk light and in the back light. So in the night time it's just fabulous, but you have to stop the car in order to work. This is really cool feature. On off-road, this is the off-road view that I show you in the beginning a little bit earlier. Uh, then we have like parking, all the parking settings 
you find it here then we have the valet mode and then this is all i mean those are all the settings that you can find um, in the car and you can also stop the climatic system very simple by pressing this button right here so guys that was the video let me stop the car just like that and also it shows you there all kind of information about the trip after you stop um, after you stop the car it shows you the trip information acceleration and all that stuff and also when you open the door and close it you see a nice graphic now it's not working i don't know why it's not working yeah you can see right now the graphic yeah um, come on go away alarm system turn off monitor settings okay what happened if i go okay i cannot go okay why i cannot go okay i'm not sure what come on disappear but every time you open the car it will show you a nice graphic with the car but i'm not sure why this alarm system turn off lock the car yes unlock the car okay and now let me show you close the door start look at this look at the graphic boiled ford tall and then you see a nice graphic there a really cool <laughs> anyway it's a cool graphic there anyway guys you can see right now it shows you another graphic with the car when you go outside the car uh, but yeah that was the video that was the review guys with this new ford ranger i hope you get some information from the video i hope it was useful if you like it don't forget to like share subscribe i would really appreciate that so thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos this is really important my rating for this car taking into consideration the price the offer the class um, and the all those stuff that the car come with from 1 to 10 I will give it a 9.9 .9. I just want to drive it as well I didn't drive it until now I will drive it after I close this video I will make a few test drives and I will give you my opinion also in the test drive video if you want to see that video check it out probably it's on the channel if it's not click the subscribe to see the notification when that video will come out also if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland check out Emil Frey in Zugville they have the car here you can test drive you can buy you can talk with them they are super nice and yeah check them out they have also a nice discount also that was the video what can i say guys if you have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask thank you very much to all of you and yes i guess i see you in the next one bye guys